Buckingham Palace confirms Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's last official royal engagement will take place next week alongside the Queen, Prince William, and Kate Middleton. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's final official engagement as royals was confirmed today, with the couple set to join the Queen, Prince William and Kate Middleton for a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. It will be the first time the Duke and Duchess have appeared with the royal family since their bombshell Megxit announcement in January, and their last before they quit royal life. Harry and Meghan caused a royal crisis by announcing they wanted to step back into a dual role, supporting the Queen and earning their own money. But the plan was unworkable, and the couple are now dropping their HRH styles and stepping away from the monarchy completely, for a life mostly in North America from March 31. Last week, Canada confirmed it would stop providing security for the couple when they step down as royals, prompting the prospect of the entire bill, estimated to be up to £20 million a year, set to fall on British taxpayers. It prompted royal expert Phil Dampier to insist the pair should not receive public money for security when they become private citizens with their own income, which is said to be millions of pounds a year. The Commonwealth Day service in London on March 9 will be broadcast live on BBC One and across the BBC World Service. International boxing champion and Olympic gold medalist Anthony Joshua will deliver a reflection, while singers Alexandra Burke and Craig David will perform. Guests of honour among the 2,000-strong congregation will include Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the Commonwealth Secretary-General Baroness Scotland, High Commissioners, Ambassadors faith leaders and more than 800 schoolchildren and young people. The Queen and the royal family will meet people involved in the service and walk past the Commonwealth flag bearers as they leave. The Duchess will attend the Endeavour Fund Awards with Prince Harry in three days' time after flying to the UK from Canada. Buckingham Palace declined to say whether she was already in the UK. Harry has attended every ceremony since the inaugural one in 2017 which he went to with his brother William. He went to the event in 2018 and 2019 with Meghan. Canadian police confirmed on February 27 it would stop assisting with security for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they step down as working royals and become private citizens after Megxit. This means the cost of round-the-clock protection for the couple and baby Archie will fall solely to the taxpayer-funded Metropolitan Police, despite the couple leaving the UK for North America. The force, which currently protects the couple at home and abroad, today refused to comment on whether they would continue to do so after Megxit. Buckingham Palace declined to say if Harry and Meghan would contribute any of their own money for their protection. Royal expert Phil Dampier said the couple should not receive public money for security when they become private citizens with their own income, which is said to be millions of pounds a year. It was only a matter of time before the Canadians stopped paying for their security because they're no longer working royals and now obviously the burden will fall on British taxpayers, he told Mail Online. The Taxpayers Alliance said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex can't have it both ways, either they're working royals with the obligations which that entails, or they're private citizens seeking independence. Buckingham Palace confirms, Harry and Meghan reunite with the Queen. William, and Kate. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's final royal engagements have been confirmed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will join Queen Elizabeth, Prince William and Kate Middleton at the Commonwealth Day service on March 9 at Westminster Abbey. The couple will appear with the rest of the royals for the first time since their bombshell announcement that they were leaving the royal family in January. Harry and Meghan will step down from royal duties on March 31. The prince arrived in the UK last week and his wife Meghan will join him this week ahead of their last official royal engagement. Royal fans will be able to watch the ceremony unfold as the Commonwealth Day service will be broadcast live on BBC One in the UK and across the BBC World Service. Harry has been undertaking numerous engagements since he returned to the UK last week without his wife or son, Archie. On Friday, Harry teamed up with rock star Bon Jovi to raise funds for wounded servicemen and servicewomen in the Invictus Games. The pair met at Abbey Road Studios in London on Friday morning, where they recorded a rendition of Unbroken alongside with the Invictus Choir. 
The brief video shows a nervous Prince Harry standing in front of a microphone with Bon Jovi listening carefully to the instructions given to him by the rock star. The news of the Sussex's return comes after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex published a spring 2020 transition statement, where they responded to news that they will no longer be able to use the Sussex royal trademark or the word royal in their commercial ventures. The statement revealed, while there is precedent for other titled members of the royal family to seek employment outside of the institution, for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a 12-month review period has been put in place. Per the agreement the Duke and Duchess of Sussex understand that they are required to step back from royal duties and not undertake representative duties on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. Meanwhile a source told the Mirror that the couple have made it clear they feel they are being picked on and treated differently to other members of the royal family. It's pretty clear they are referencing minor royals such as Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie which is an odd association to make for two people whose associates were once claiming they had single-handedly modernized the monarchy. They added, we're witnessing a quite extraordinary turn of events. The British people will not stand for two multimillionaires demanding taxpayer funds after abandoning the country they should be serving. The latest series of comments published on the Sussex's website comes across as extremely petulant and has caused a great deal of alarm inside the palace. This is further evidence of Harry and Meghan further ostracizing themselves from the family rather than building bridges. Buckingham Palace confirms that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will attend the Commonwealth Day service. William and Kate will be there, too. As Prince Harry and Meghan Markle enter their final month as senior members of the royal family, Buckingham Palace has confirmed that they will attend the Commonwealth Day service next Monday. At the service, which takes place annually at Westminster Abbey, the couple will publicly reunite with the Queen, Prince Charles, and Camilla, and Prince William and Kate Middleton for the first time since the Sussexes announced their intentions to step back from their royal roles and pursue financial independence. Monday's event will include remarks given by Olympic boxer Anthony Joshua as well as a musical performance by Alexandra Burke and Craig David. The service could mark Harry and Meghan's final public engagement as senior working royals as it is the last announced event on their schedules, though at this point, it has not been officially billed as such. After spending more than a month in Canada with his family, Prince Harry returned to the UK last week. On Wednesday, he attended an ecotourism summit in Scotland, which was co-hosted by his sustainability initiative Travelist, and on Friday, he and rocker John Bon Jovi recorded a song alongside the Invictus Games Choir at the legendary Abbey Road Studios in London. It's unclear whether Meghan flew to the UK with Harry last week or plans to travel there at a later date, but the Duchess has multiple public appearances scheduled in the days to come, including an engagement in celebration of International Women's Day on March 8. Then, on March 31st, Harry and Meghan will officially transition out of their senior positions in the royal family. Meghan Markle snub, the seven surprising privileges the Sussex couple will soon lose. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will lose seven royal luxuries after they step down as senior royals at the end of the month. The biggest change the Sussexes will face is be paying back the money they owe for the Frogmore Cottage refurbishment, which cost the taxpayer £3 million. Refurbishing their British home included building stairs, installing new fireplaces, and a floating wooden door, according to CNN. The cottage was originally a gift from the Queen and the couple had the residence refurbished before they made it their home in 2019. Meghan and Harry are keen to maintain it as their British base, as they seek to build a new life in Canada. The couple said in a statement that they would pay back the UK taxpayer for their hard-earned cash after they came under fire for ditching their senior royal status. Their statement said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have shared their wish to repay sovereign grant expenditure for the refurbishment of Frogmore Cottage, which will remain their UK family home. Secondly, the Queen will no longer pick up the bill for the financially independent pair. After the shock announcement of Megxit, the couple's staff were removed from Frogmore Cottage. It has been reported that at least two permanent members of staff have been relocated to somewhere else within the royal household. 
A source disclosed that although no members of staff have been let go it is routine for staff members to be moved around. Third of all Canada will cease the eye-watering sums that have paid for the Sussex's security since they arrived on Vancouver Island in November. A government official said in a statement, the assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. The couple will be on their own once they resign entirely from royal duties in April. Fourth, Meghan will no longer have access to the Queen's priceless jewellery collection, unlike Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate regularly has access to the monarch's gems. She recently wore a gorgeous pair of diamond earrings from the crown jewels to the theatre with Prince William. Meghan was not extended the same courtesy, and now most likely never will. Her relocation to Canada means she will not be in close proximity to Her Majesty, and she will not require such items for events that fall outside of the royal protocol. Fifth, their children will no longer be considered royal meaning that Archie's siblings will not be given the same celebration that he received upon his birth. No commemorative memorabilia will likely be released upon the birth of any future children Meghan and Harry will have. Sixth, the paparazzi will have free reign to cover the couple as they commit to civilian life. Newspapers in the UK have agreed with the palace that they will not use paparazzi photos of royal members of the royal family. When Meghan was snapped out cradling Archie during a walk on Vancouver Island, it was indicative of what will follow with their exit. The couple who have chosen to reside in North America will most likely be targeted by photo agencies and reporters who have no alliance with the royal family. They will not be afforded the same privacy extended to other British royals. Lastly, Meghan and Harry will not take part in any future royal tours on behalf of the Queen. The pair's final trip as royals was to South Africa last year, where they spent 10 days visiting towns and charities. As of now the only functions the pair will attend are in a private capacity, such as the J.P. Morgan event in Miami that they were spotted at last month.